NBA Draft for 2020 is right around the corner and here we are to talk about the upcoming prospects, who fits where, possible trades, please guys don't forget to leave a like and let's go. So with the first pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves will take Anthony Edwards from Georgia. Edwards has the elite potential as a shooting guard in the NBA. He could potentially be like a top three, top four uh, shooting guard in the future of the NBA. His ceiling is very high. Of course, he still needs to improve his shooting and his defense, but if he will make those adjustments into the NBA, he could definitely be a force. And I believe that the team that will pick first will take him with the first pick of the NBA draft. With the second pick in the 2020 NBA draft, I believe Golden State will trade that pick, but the team that will take that pick will choose James Wiseman. Wiseman 7-1 freakish athlete that could do basically everything you need from a big man today except for consistently shooting from the outside but can be very useful with pick and roll situations and also can provide elite defense rim protection and I think that the team that would trade with the Golden State Warriors would buy into Wiseman potential. With the third pick in the 2020 NBA draft I believe Charlotte Hornets will take Onyeka Okongo. According to several reports the Charlotte Hornets are interested in the prospect from USC. Don't uh, necessarily think Charlotte would take the risk with him especially once they have Devonte Graham now as like their franchise player or kind of their franchise player. With the fourth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, I believe the Chicago Bulls will pick Denny Avdia from Israel. Denny Avdia is an amazing prospect. He can do a little bit of everything, jack of all trades, a point forward that could really fit into basically any team in the NBA. I don't think the Chicago Bulls would pick a point guard with Lamelo Ball, and I think Lamelo Ball will be the player, the one player that will slip in the upcoming draft. And I think Denny is a great fit to the young core that uh, Chicago is building over the last few years. The fifth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, I believe the Cleveland Cavaliers will pick Obi Toppin out of Dayton. Obi Toppin was one of the main candidates to be player of the year in the US colleges last year and I think he's a great prospect, uh, a Maris Todemar type of prospect, that's how Jay Bidas called him and I think he would fit great into Cleveland. Cavs just picked uh, two, two guards in the last couple of years on the NBA draft and I think this is the year that they will need to find a replacement for Kevin Love and to find some scoring big men next to Andre Drummond. The sixth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, I believe the Atlanta Hawks really will select Lamelo Ball. In this specific case, if Lamelo Ball really slips into the sixth position, I believe Atlanta Hawks might consider trading the, this pick. Uh, but if not, I think Lamelo Ball could play as a second guard uh, next to Trey Young. He's long and very creative offensively, but not necessarily a good defender or a willing defender. And he cannot really shoot consistently from beyond the arc. With the seventh pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons will take Isaac Okoro out of Auburn. Okoro could potentially be an elite and NBA defender, much like the other prospects in the upcoming draft. If he can improve his consistency from beyond the arc, he could be a great 3 and D guy, which is basically one of the most valuable assets you can get to get it today in the NBA. With the 8th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the New York Knicks will select Tyrese Halliburton, a 6'5 point guard that can facilitate, can score, can do a little bit of everything with a great size uh, for the point guard position. They already have RJ Barrett and Mitchell Robinson to build around in the future and they really need someone to lead and to be a floor general for their team. With the ninth pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Washington Wizards will take Patrick Williams. The Wizards obviously don't need immediate help in the guard positions. With a lot of guards left on the board. I believe they would take the best forward they can get. So Patrick Williams look like the most reasonable pick. The 10th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, I believe the Phoenix Suns would look for a trade for a veteran. If they don't, I believe they will take Devin Vassell from Florida State, but also another player that should develop a lot in this game to be uh, NBA ready. Still very raw in my opinion, uh, great athleticism, but like I said, he need to adjust it well. Either way, I believe the Phoenix Suns will trade this pick because I believe the bubble make them feel like they have what it takes in order to get to the playoffs. They need to add the missing piece in order to get to the next stage. With the 11th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, I believe the San Antonio Spurs will take Killian Hayes, the French guy who played in Germany last year. I believe it's a great fit for San Antonio who is well known with the development of international prospects and I believe it's a great fit for both ways. So if Killian
Philly and really slips into the 11th spot or San Antonio doesn't trade up into uh, to get a higher lottery pick I believe Killian would be a great fit here and they would take him with the 11th pick. With the 12th pick in the 2020 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings will take Aaron Naismith. Naismith scored 52% from beyond the arc last year and I believe it could be a great fit in uh, Sacramento assuming he's still on the board. Taking into consideration the problems they have with Buddy Hill, they need someone to replace him, someone to someone with range, someone that can space the floor and can give a lot of uh, room for players like Aaron Fox to operate. So I believe Naismith, if he's still on the board, will be taken by the Sacramento Kings. 13th pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans will take Sadiq Bey, another forward that can space the floor, can guard multiple positions next to Zion and Brandon Ingram, can provide a lot of versatility and flexibility and I think that's someone who might fit well into New Orleans and I think that might be uh, the best choice for them and the most reasonable pick. So in my belief, Sadiq Bey would go to the New Orleans Pelicans. The 14th pick in the 2020 20 NBA draft and the last pick in the lottery. I believe the Boston Celtics will take Precious Achiowa. Celtics already have a lot of wing talent and with Kemba Walker running point guard, they need someone who can contribute right away with a defensive presence and with size. Precious fits great into that niche. If they would pick by need, I believe they can take Precious. If they would take the best player left on the board, I believe they can take someone who might slip into the 14th uh, spot because this year's draft is so crowded and no one is a sure bet and really no one can know how this draft can actually develop. So this is what I think about the upcoming NBA draft. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe if you like the content and let me know what is your mock draft. And thank you very much for watching guys.